Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Just thought I'd share a little project with you that me and my lad did a couple of weeks ago. It's a nice simple project for all those that want to get involved in a little bit of copper work, but not really sure where to start. I will leave the cutting lengths and materials list at the end of the video. If you want to just pause that, you can take a list yourself. Now to start off with, you will need the following items. A blow lamp, some flux, tape measure, a pair of grips or something to hold the pipe work, a clean cloth, if you can call it a clean cloth, some solder, something to cut the pipe with, either an axe saw or a pipe slice like I've got, a pencil and some wire wool. The rest of it, you will need eight elbows, four T's, some pipe, as you can see the pipe that I've got is not all new, so if you have some lying about in your garden that's a bit old, you will be able to clean it up. Right, for the next process we need to make the first part, which if you measure out 250 mils, we need two of these. And if you're lucky enough to have one of these little slices, a great little tool. Not an oxo will do, but you will need a file just to take off the bears on the end. Just push the fitting on. Always start with this bit, this is your leading edge. So the first part is going to look. Something like that. Then we need two short pieces to go in here, which I measured at 80 millimeters. And again, just line up the slice, I've cut through it. These two shorter pieces go together just like that. This will form part of the framework that sits up, like so, or like this. I'll show you a better picture once it's all complete. So this is what you're trying to achieve now. So each of the smaller pieces are 80 millimeters long. The two pieces in the middle are 250 mil. What we need to do now is clean all these fittings of the pipe work and we need to solder this piece, which I'll show you now. So each bit of pipe, every bit of fitting, Always good practice, even if the pipe's clean, just to give it a quick wire wool. Just 
never know if there's any residue left on the pipe work so it's after manufacturing it's always a good idea See most of the fittings are pretty good condition. Right, techniques for soldering. What you need is some flux. What I tend to do, because obviously I've been working in the trade for approximately 22 years now, so I have my own little methods. I tend to use a belt and braces method of just making sure all the surface inside the fitting is coated and I also like to do the pipe as well some people might say it's excessive but I have very minimal leaks and that just goes together like that obviously once the fittings together to get a really nice clean joint always wipe off any excess what this does because there's no flux on the surface of the pipework or the fitting you will find that when you solder it all the solder goes inside the fitting and not all over your pipework make it very messy Just start at one joint at a time. Just slowly keep fitting. Just slowly start to see the flux bubbling. First joint done. We'll just slowly work our way round. your first piece now move on to the second piece all right time for the upstands all right for this we need to measure out two lengths at 200 mil
like that. And these parts. from the upstand. Next part, we need a part, that, a pipe that will go across the back to link them to keep them stable. And this one should be 295. that piece will fit across there holding these two in place to give a stable stand for it obviously this one needs a bit of a clean first right and that bit goes in there so we'll just get these bits soldered 